Hey, what's up, guys? John with Both About Gaming, and today I have another Yu Gi Oh deck profile. Um, today I'm bringing to the table uh, Dynamists. With the release of Breakers of Shadow, we got Dynamists. I started playing Dynamists like a couple months before Breakers of Shadow, got really, really excited about them, and this is what I've done with them. So, to start off, we have three of the Dynamist Terran. Uh, Dynamus Terran is your search power. When he destroys a, an opponent's monster by battle, you can search out a Dynamus card from your deck. Excuse me. Um, that's any Dynamus card. You can do the Dynamus Charge, you can do the Dynamus Rush, which is your spell and trap, or you can do another Dynamus Monster. Now, I have to note this right now for your uh, Pendulum Scale 3 Dynamus Monsters, uh, they all have the same effect for the uh, Scale of 3. Which is if your mo dynamis monster is going to be destroyed by uh, battle or an opponent's card effect, you can destroy this instead. Moving on, I play three uh, dynamis plesios. Plesios. Uh, dynamis plesios is the scale of six, and like I said, the threes and sixes have the same effect. Sixes are if your dynamis monsters are targeted by an opponent's card effect, you can pop this and negate it. Well, actually it negates it and then you pop this. Uh, plus it has the effect that your opponent's monsters lose 100 attack and 100 defense for each dynamis card you control, which is actually really fun because, I mean, again, spells, traps, pendulum scales, and monsters. You can actually make your opponent lose a lot of attack. Um, moving on, I'm only playing one Stegosaur. Um, the reason I'm only playing one is because his effect isn't all that great. Uh, if he, if any of your pendulum monsters battle a non-pendulum monster, you can destroy him and then destroy both those monsters. <sighs> it's not really that great, but he does have some use. So, and those are all the level fours. I'm only playing like the one and then the three of each. Uh, moving on to the fives, you have Dynamis Rex. Uh, Dynamis Rex is really really cool because when he's in battle if he declares an attack you can tribute off a uh, actually if he destroys a monster by battle I believe you can tribute another dynamis monster and then he gains an effect uh, one of them is he gains a hundred attack and he declare uh, an extra attack of this turn and then the other one is you can send a random card shuffle a random card from your opponent's hand back into the deck so he's really versatile he's really really good uh, moving on, I'm playing two, uh, Dynamis Brachion. I don't really like Dynamis Brachion, and a lot of people actually really like him. He's kind of got a Cyber Dragon effect. If your opponent controls a monster with the highest attack on the field, then you can special summon him. Um, that happens, but doesn't happen a lot. It's, it's really, really situational, so I only run him at two. And then moving on, we play three, uh, Dynamus Ceratops, which is, uh, again, kind of like your Cyber Dragon effect. If you control a Dynamus monster, you can supposed to summon him, which uh, kind of makes it uh, a really good card. Now, this is the thing that I've done with Dynamus that a lot of people aren't doing. A lot of people are running, like, uh, Draco Slayers and stuff in it. Uh, you got people running Despot 001. I wanted to do something extremely different. So, I am running three of the Legendary Fishermen. If you guys don't know what Legendary Fisherman is, if uh, Yumi is on the field, when Legendary Fisherman is on the field, uh, he can't be targeted or destroyed by like spell effects, and then he can't be targeted for by targeted by battle. And you're like, why the hell would you play this? Or some of you already know where I'm going with this. Uh, I play two of the Legendary Fisherman three. Now, if you guys don't know what this card does, this card got a shit ton of hype whenever the uh, OCG got it, and everyone was like, oh my god, this card is so stupidly broken. Legendary Fisherman 3 cannot be summoned unless you tribute the Legendary Fisherman, and then you special summon him. When he's special summoned, you banish all of your opponent's cards on the field, but he cannot make an attack that turn. He cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. He can't be targeted by spells and traps. You literally have to like bounce him off the field. It's the only way to get him off the field. And then he has another effect to where you can take all of your opponent's banished cards, put them back into the graveyard, and then one attack during your turn, the battle damage becomes double. 
So he's an extremely good card. I, I've actually had matches where I've gone to him first turn and people just can't get over it. It's an amazingly fun card. Uh, really, really fun tech choice. But yeah, that's the three and two. It's just really, really fun to play, play around with. Um, they're playing two Legendary Ocean. Legendary Ocean, if you, some of you guys don't know, it acts as zooming when it's on the field. It also reduces the level of your Dynamis or water monsters by one, which means you can normal summon your level uh, fives without tributing or just summoning or worrying about anything like that. It's kind of cool. Um, we're playing two of the uh, Dynamic Power Load. Uh, Dynamic Power Load is the field spell for Dynamists. It gives them an extra... Oh my god. 300 attack and defense, which is not really the the part that you, you worry about too much, although an extra 300 attack and defense is really good. But it also makes them like... Um, what is his name? Armades, Keepers of Boundaries. When they attack, your opponent can't activate anything. Monster, spells, and traps, they can't activate any of those effects. So this is actually a really, really great card and actually uh, helps with your OTK and stuff. Uh, moving on, your terraformings. Uh, this is just so you can get whatever you need. I mean, if I have a Legendary Fisherman in my hand and I want Legendary Ocean, I want Legendary Fisherman 3, stuff like that, you get your terraformings. Uh, three, Dynamis Charge. Dynamis Charge is basically your... Ooh, I apologize, didn't mean to bump the camera. It's basically your tanky of the deck. Searches out a Dynamis monster, adds it to your hand. Uh, it also has a secondary effect, which is absolutely stupid, but once per turn, uh, when a Dynamis monster would be sent from the field to the extra deck, you can add to your hand instead. It basically recycles your Pendulum Scale effects, which makes this card absolutely nuts, and you can also search it with Terran, so it's, it's just it's ridiculous. Uh, we're playing three Wavering Eyes, of course, you're playing the Pendulums. You want to play the three Wavering Eyes. Uh, we're playing the one, Regeki. Just kind of for a board wipe, for the OTKs and stuff. And then one, Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion is for rank 5 plays. I'll show you in a bit what I mean. Uh, for traps, we're playing three, Dynamis Rush. Uh, Dynamis Rush, you can activate <coughs> whenever. Especially summons a Dynamis Monster. And then, of course, it gets destroyed at the end of the turn that you activate it. But... I mean, activating it during your opponent's turn, especially something like that Plessy, so they lose attack, whatever. It's pretty good. Uh, playing two Mirror Force, just kind of for some some monster hate, hate your monsters, whatever. Uh, the one Bottomless Trap Hole for the Pendulum Hate, of course. And then the one card, this is actually a really controversial card. A lot of people uh, aren't really sure about it right now, but the one Starlight Road. Uh, in case you guys don't really realize it, there's a lot of destroying multiples of things. Uh, we got Twin Twister, which was a uh, absolutely phenomenal card where you discard one, pop two. Uh, you got Wavering Eyes, which can destroy up to four. This negates those. And if you run the Stardust Dragon, which I am running the one Stardust Dragon for shits and giggles, uh, you get a free Stardust Dragon. So that's it for the main deck. It's a 40 card main deck. It's uh, just a little twist on Dynamists for shits and giggles. It's fun to play. I wouldn't play it super competitively. Uh, for the extra deck, of course, we're playing the one Stardust Dragon for the Starlight Road. Uh, for fours, we're playing the Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon, uh, Abyss Dweller. I really hate on Mermails. Uh, the 101, Silent Honor Arc. Their Gear Gigant X for the, the Search. The Castell for the Send Rack just to get rid of those annoying problematic cards, and the 103 ranking zero because you manipulate your opponent's uh, attack with Plessis, so it's pretty good. Uh, moving on to the fives, we're playing the one Wind Up Arsenal and Moyo, and the one number 61 Vulcan Source. Uh, this for spell and trap destruction, and this for uh, just kind of get rid of stuff. Uh, the two Panzer Dragons, I don't know why I need two, I only run the one instant fusion, but Panzer Dragon is an instant fusion target to make those like a <coughs> excuse me, the level five plays and stuff. I really don't know why I'm running two in here. I need to replace one of these with something. Of course, then we're playing the two Cyber Dragon Novus. Uh, this is interesting thought behind this. I'll explain in a second. And of course, the one Cyber Dragon Infinity. Uh, I was playing two Infinity and three Nova. But you really don't need that much. I mean, once you have one infinity on the field, 
It's it's pretty good. Um, I would like to note that in Dynamists, you only make Infinity if you need to get rid of problematic cards. Uh, when I started playing Dynamist, I made that mistake and just plopped them on the board first turn. And people have enough plays to actually get around this pretty easily. So you only want to put it on the board when you're getting rid of problematic stuff. Um, the next card, which I'm playing, is one um, Cyber and Dragon. Now, in case anyone wonders why the hell Cyber and Dragon is in this deck, it's because of Cyber Nova Dragon. If someone, for some weird ass reason, decides to negate the summon of Cyber Nova Dragon, when Nova Dragon is destroyed on the field and sent to the graveyard, I get to special summon a uh, Cyber Fusion monster, ignoring its summoning conditions. So we're playing the Cyber End. So don't destroy the Nova because you can get ended. So, yeah, there you guys go. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, feel free to leave some comments, some suggestions for the deck, different ways to play the deck and stuff. I'm still fairly new to the deck. I'm still getting a feel for the deck. That's why I hesitated on a couple of the effects. But uh, Thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Adios.